Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Deep Blue Sea. So the other day I was attacked while I was back in the woods by a whole swarm of chiggers and they are super annoying, but I thought while I still had some, I might as well film a video on them. So that's what I did today. So I'll be telling you guys about some common misconceptions, some facts, and I'm looking at some under a microscope. So I'll show you guys that. Thanks for watching. The other day I was walking through the woods and uh, when I was walking, I started to feel something crawling up my leg. And when I looked down, I saw all these tiny little bugs crawling up, and I wasn't quite sure what they were, but I did some research, and I think I found out what they are. Chiggers are a small parasitic bug that lives all over North America, and they like to live in leaf litter and tall grass. After they hatch, if they do not find a host within two months, they most likely will not live. When they're in the larval stage, they're parasitic bugs that feed on humans and animals. They tend to feed on animals more, but if they have humans, they'll use them too. They can be orange, yellow, or even red. And after they feed, they start to turn a sort of mix between orange and yellow. When they're in this stage, they're a reddish orange shade and have six legs, three on each side. If you look here, you'll see some hairs on each leg. They can be very small, sometimes about only one 150th of an inch. So you'll probably need some type of magnifying glass. Their larvae are also very small, only 0.15 to 0.3 millimeters. Contrary to popular belief, they do not burrow or lay eggs in your skin. They simply bite for just a few hours, leave, and lay eggs. To feed, the chigger inserts its mouth parts, called chalicera, into the host's skin, usually a pore or hair follicle. Once they're attached, they secrete saliva, which contains proteolectic enzymes into the host's skin. The digestive enzymes liquefy the skin tissue so that the chigger can ingest it. They leave very small welts, like pictured here. They almost look like pimples or very small hives. After a few hours, or sometimes up to a few days, they will leave after feeding. Then they molt into a nymph, lay eggs, and the cycle continues. Chiggers are commonly mistaken for the nymphs of a lone star tick or vice versa, but the easiest way to tell is because chiggers have six legs, three on each side, and ticks usually have four legs on each side, so a total of eight legs. And also, ticks typically have a two-segment body instead of one, like chiggers do. Adult female mites lay one to five eggs a day in leaf litter, damp soil, or overgrown weeds. And after five to seven days, they hatch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe or watch one of my other videos pictured here. Thanks.